hi, and welcome back to my show. I am so happy that you're here today. I would always start with morning affirmations and I find it so important and I really wanted to bring that back into today. So it always starts with saying, I love you. You have to tell yourself that you love yourself every day. For those of you who follow me for this positive outlook and this good energy and this confidence and this, yeah, it's because I genuinely to my core love myself. It, it all stems from there. And it sounds super easy, but I know a lot of people struggle with self-love and I wanna help you. That's this whole point, you know? Uh, by aggressively loving myself, you can feel inspired to start your own journey. I've been getting a lot of feedback from you all that you're, you're trying. You're starting your process and you're trying to be nicer in your words to yourself. And I'm so proud of you. Like that, that's the whole point is for you to feel confident enough to be saying nice things about yourself because the power of your words is so important. I talk about it on a full podcast episode. I'm even gonna put the link right here in this video because it's so important the way you talk to yourself. So let's get cringy. Come do morning affirmations with me. We're gonna look in the mirror, let's do it. The main part about this is we're always gonna tell ourselves that we love ourselves. I really want you to all day today, this is a challenge, Wow, straight off the bat, I'm starting an episode an episode off with a challenge. I usually save it for the end, but no, this is important. Every time you look into a mirror today, you have to yell at yourself that you love yourself. Yeah, you heard me. I don't care if you're in a public place. I don't care if you're in an office, um, you're in your bathroom, you accidentally turn on your phone and it's on front camera. I want you to say, I love you so loud. I wanted to say it so loud, it's like you're screaming it at the top of your lungs. It's an exercise in everything. It's an exercise in telling yourself that you love yourself, practicing that, making yourself laugh, making yourself smile. Like imagine you're in a public bathroom and you scream that you love yourself into the mirror and somebody else hears you and laughs. You just made someone else laugh. You're laughing, you're smiling, and you told yourself you love yourself. You got a four a four part bonus right there. So I think it's so important, especially when you're doing your morning affirmations and you're talking to yourself, that you start with saying that you love yourself. And slowly as it goes on, the more you say it, the more you deeply believe it. The more you don't have to scream it at the mirror because you look and you're like, okay, babe. Okay, babe. You already, you already feel it, you know? So it, it, you gotta start somewhere. So that's the challenge of the day. But let's just start with like a few morning affirmations, a few repeat after me, okay? I love you. I am a happy person. I am powerful. I do not pretend to be anyone or anything other than exactly who I am. I radiate positivity today. Love you. Say it again, say it twice. That was important, say it twice. Okay, so if you don't know if you are new to my channel, these are repeat after me sections and, and you gotta do it. You gotta challenge yourself to do it. And if it feels weird and if it feels cringy, let it be because you're gonna hit a point one day where it's not at all and you're like, yes, queen. Yes, I do have the energy. Yes, I am the happiest person. Yes, I am unapologetically me. It starts at feeling cringy, but it ends at a, you're a new person. You're ready to take on the day you are powerful. Okay, let's go to the closet. <laughs> Welcome to Deanna's Closet. That was a pop rock version of Deanna's Closet. Hope you enjoyed that jingle. I have to make an announcement. I will always be wearing the extra, the fun, the sauce in my episodes. I've been getting a few questions of like, wow, like why do you wear all these gowns? Like, don't you want to save them? And I thought about it and I was like, save them for who exactly? Save them for why exactly? Do you know what I mean? I like to get dressed up. I like to get glam. I like to get extra, extra for me. And I hope that you take that into your every day and like, yeah, wear the sparkly dress. It doesn't matter, you're just going to dinner. You're, you know what I mean? You're going out to dinner with friends. Like, of course get all dressed up. Of course do your hair. Of course, why not? You're doing it for you. You're not doing it for anyone else. So that's why I'm always wearing the extra extra. I'm always giving that little oomph of sparkle. And it leads me directly into the outfit of the day. The O-O-T-D, the O-T-A-D-A. She's giving model behavior. She's giving sparkles for no reason. Back it up, back it up, peep the shoe. Move it forward, move it over. Peep the shoe. She's champagne in the glass with extra bubbles. She's a 10 out of 10. Now, of course, uh, let me throw this one directly over to, oh, who's that over there? Oh, Deanna. Thanks, Deanna. I'm taking it from here. I have major news. I have waited, okay? Today we're talking about Ginny and Georgia. It's a Netflix TV show and season two finally premiered. 
Ginny and Georgia was one of my favorite shows when it first came out. I love season one. It has a very strong plot line of mother and daughter relationships and I loved it, but there was drama because the mother was keeping secrets and a very coming of age story because the daughter's going through so much in high school. I loved season one so much. Last night, I stayed up all night and I finished season two. <sighs> we have to talk about it. I'm not gonna give anything away. I'm gonna wait one more month, one month from today, and I'm gonna bring Ginny and Jorga. We're gonna circle back on this topic but I do wanna say that the show in season two is extremely different than season one. There are trigger warnings at the start of every single show. There is hotline and helplines that you can use at the end of every single episode. I wasn't expecting the show to go this way, but it really dives into the high school students and not just their crushes here and there, but what feels like their real life hardships and struggles and they're going through extreme feelings of love and breakup and dealing with suicide and really it, it goes into a lot of mental illness issues that I was not expecting at all on this show and I really think it's very important. I, I know I learned a lot from watching it and it just it took such a turn. I would love to hear your opinions, what you thought of Ginny and Georgia. I love a female strong narrative, which is why I think I was drawn to Ginny and Georgia in the first place. The mother character, uh, the one who plays Georgia in the show is so strong and confident and she is such a force. I, I really love that character and I loved watching her. And it was so interesting to see where the show went. It just has so many more layers now. I am not gonna give any spoilers, but I'm telling you it's taking every fiber of my being not to explode through my skin because all I wanna do is talk about this show. I highly recommend you tune in. Ginny and Georgia season two is now on Netflix. If you're looking for a show to watch, that's the show. The first four episodes of season two, I was like this, what? what? It was crazy. It was crazy. I can't even wait for you to see it. I can't wait for you to see it. Please share what you think about it and make sure you tune in. In one month from today, I'm giving spoilers. We're going ham on this show. <laughs> Let me send you over to the reason we all watch the show. The giveaways. Go ahead, Deanna. Today, we have partnered with CoverGirl, the CoverGirl. What's better than one CoverGirl? Two CoverGirls. I am so excited for this giveaway. I love their lipsticks. I'm just gonna give you a really quick look at these color lip lipsticks. I'm obsessed with this specific one, Seduce Scarlet. I wish it was mine, but I'm very happy it's yours. There is going to be um, two palettes, eyeliner and different, are these eyeshadows? <gasps> liquid glitter eyeshadows, you lucky duck. I am going to put the winner in my Hype Squad community. The link is in the description below. For those of you who don't know, the Hype Squad community is where I can connect with you more one-on-one -on -one, and I can help you on your self-love journey and really hype you up for what's to come. And I am so proud of that community and I love you all. So thank you for watching. This is just a small token of appreciation and giving you these happy little gifts from me. Thank you for watching. I love you. Say back.